everybody, Joe Patty here. And today, I want to talk about a resin comparison. Now, I have been using, let me get these gloves off. This is what I normally use, and I have two or three favorites. But I thought I would try something different because I like to just experiment. And I ended up buying this. I don't like this FX epoxy, whatever. Um, it's called standard FX epoxy. If I can get this in the camera right, because I got a little bit of room here. Oh, let's see, I got that side and this side. I got this, I'm not real happy with it. It seems like uh, it yellows a little bit over time. And I will show you that at the end of this video, I'll show you the comparisons. Um, let me get this mask off. I'll show you the comparisons and another coffee bean coaster and I just wanna show you the difference. Okay, so what I've done on this video, what I've done for now was mix up a little bit of epoxy here and I'm going to pour it to cover the coffee beans and also this one here and we're gonna talk about this later in the video. And I just want to cover the beans. Let that spread out. Hopefully I made enough. There's some rocks poking up. I handpicked those rocks across the street when I was walking the dog. Let's do the pancake batter. Pop it a couple times. Get those bubbles to come forward. Take my little stick. Kind of push it around. Get it in there. Okay, everybody, we're going to cover this up, and I'll be back in 12 hours. All right, everyone, it's been a little over 12 hours, and here are the results. These came out absolutely beautiful with the regular resin that I use, the glaze coat, the fan wood glaze coat. It is so pretty and so clear, not one bubble. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. One little rock is sticking up just a little bit right there, but I don't care. I don't want to pour another thick coat of resin on or anything over that tiny little rock. It doesn't matter. I can even use that side if I want. If I put a coffee mug or something down, I ain't going to hit that anyway. And these are the nice new coasters that I had made with my resin. Beautiful. Clear. Got a little bit of some stuff on. I got to wax them up at. Here's my wax paper to shine them up. Okay, then this, the dreadful, dreadful looking one that's so full of bubbles that yellowed from that darn FX standard epoxy that I do not like and will not use. Look at that. Like I said, it's not clear from the beginning. You know, you can't get the darn bubbles out and then they turn yellow. So, I don't know. I see a difference. All right, everybody. Here's your meditation thought for today. Thoughts can be enjoyable, but if we let the mind wander whenever it wants, we miss opportunities to be mindful. So on that note, everybody, grab your glue gun and your glitters. Don't forget to wear your ruby slippers. In other words, do it your way, any way you want. Okay, I forgot I wanted to show you this. So this too, also. This is made with my regular standard glaze coat, the Famo wood that I use. And this was made with that FX standard epoxy. Look at the difference. Those are tiny, tiny little bubbles that I just couldn't keep torching. It's terrible. Look at that. Same with those. I had 
run some epoxy over this thing here, my little rubber thing I bought. And this is what happened with the FX. And look how clear these ones are with the regular ones I use. All right, everybody. I had to show you that. Look at all those. A million microscopic bubbles in there. And not only that, but with this, it, it's so thin, too. You'd think it'd be easy just to take the heat to it real quick and pop them all. But they just pop up later and then start yellowing. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you soon back in the studio. Thank mm -hmm. you.